Welcome to commonindia.com website Current Affairs video section Today's date is April 25th, 2015 Let's see the important topics of today that you have to read from the newspaper First topic is net neutrality and zero rating plans Why there is a controversy? Let's see. This topic of net neutrality is important for the interview this year and for the mains 2015 as well. So prepare well on this topic. In this topic, you should be able to define what is net neutrality. Basically, net neutrality provides for equal treatment of all traffic in the internet. It is a principle that internet security providers and government should treat all data on the internet equally and not discriminating the things by user, content, site, etc. What is Airtel Zero plan and how it, via, it violates the net neutrality principle and what is internet.org? How these zero rating plans work? From your point of view, these zero rating plans violate net neutrality. What is your opinion on this? How net neutrality concept is very important for the small business or startup? Recently, Department of Telecommunications has set up a committee called Net Neutrality Committee to examine the issue and it will Submit its report soon. So prepare well on this topic of net neutrality and its significance. The next topic is USA-Cuba relations and its changing nature. This topic is important in GS paper 1 world history, especially in the topic of communism, world war 1-2 and post World War II to contemporary world affairs. It's also important in GS paper to international organizations because recently the summit of Americas held and in this summit US and Cuban president met and America took the decision to take away the Cuba from the list of state sponsors of terrorism. This is an important step in normalizing the relations between the USA and Cuba. This topic is not important for prelims but important for the mains 2015 exam. And as you know, America has a policy of rebalancing Asia or Bayward to Asia policy and recently it almost normalized the relations with the Iran by signing a nuclear agreement that is P5 plus 1. P5 plus 1 is also an important topic for prelims as well as mains and what about the outcome of Iran's nuclear agreement with the P5 plus 1 countries? What is pivot to Asia policy and its uh, implications to India? So prepare well on this topic. The next topic is serotonin. As you know, our brain contains millions or billions of uh, basic units called neurons. One neuron establishes connection with another neuron in this manner. Some neurotransmitter is essential to transmit the signal from one neuron to the another neuron. So serotonin is a one kind of neurotransmitter involved in the transmission of the nerve signals. Deficiency of the serotonin level may lead to the various brain related diseases or disorders like depression, anxiety and other diseases. According to the recent research paper, the serotonin level is controlled by the gut bacteria that is the bacteria located in your small intestine, stomach, etc. So by modifying our diet with 
the diet which promotes the growth of the gut bacteria which produce serotonin level so so the diet modification leads to the growth of gut bacterium which produces we will repeat the modifying the diet will lead to the growth of the gut bacterium which produces the serotonin level so serotonin normal production alleviates the anxiety and depression because as you know the deficiency of the serotonin leads to the various brain related diseases and disorders like anxiety the next topic is national judicial appointments commission national judicial appointments commission is very important for interview as well as for prelims and mains 2015 in mains it comes under the gs chapter 2 syllabus like various statutory and constitutional bodies the establishment of national judicial appointments commission requires the constitutional amendment which already passed the name of number is 99th constitutional amendment act before that the collegium system of appointing judges was there what is the collegium system and you should be able to understand how it works and what are the various drawbacks of the collegium system of appointing the judges then you should be able to compare the role of executive under the collegium system and and role of executive under the present system that is the national judicial appointments commission in appointing the judges almost the executive played no role in the collegium system now executive plays a almost equal role in appointing the judges of high court and supreme court now you should be able to explain what is the composition of the national judicial appointments commission the composition of national judicial appointment commission is that it is headed by the chief justice of india and two senior most supreme court judges and union minister of law and justice and two eminent persons totally six member committee or com commission and you should be able to differentiate within the what is the committee and what is commission who appoints the two eminent persons the two eminent persons are appointed by a committee which consists of prime minister of india second chief justice of india and third leader of the opposition in the lok sabha in case leader of opposition is absent or the leader of the largest political party in the lok sabha will can be a third member in our present lok sabha there is no question of leader of opposition because to get the status of leader of opposition the party must secure minimum of 10 percentage of the total number of mp seats in lok sabha because of this reason congress party couldn't get the leader of opposition status now what are the various implications or benefits of national judicial appointment commission what is the present status at present the constitutional amendment bill that is 99th amendment bill passed in both houses of parliament and got the president assent but the case is filed in supreme court and supreme court bench is examining whether it is valid or not the next topic is nepal earthquake earthquake is a topic which comes under the mains gs paper 1 various geophysical phenomena and is very important topic for prelims as well is a very very important topic for this year prelims and also for interview and also it comes under gs paper 3 disaster management so in this background you should be able to understand some important concept what is thrust line what is blind thrust earthquake how intensity of earthquake is classified what are the earthquake prone areas worldwide? 
what is specific ring of fire and you should be able to compare the north indian and south indian from the earthquake prone perspective like himalayan region is prone to the severe earthquake while the south indian region is least prone to the severe earthquake so you should be able to explain this concept by using the geo geological concept and here the disaster response team comes what is the role of national disaster Respo response force and its involvement in the nepal earthquake how india prepared to manage the various disasters like earthquake so you should be able to understand and uh, write down on the various topics for more details visit our mains 2015 question answer section for answers and the last topic is neanderthals and altamura man is only important for general science prelims and not for mains and who are neanderthals how evolution of neanderthals are very closely related to the human beings evolution why it was in news recently Recently, the oldest Neanderthal's DNA was found in the Altamura, which is a place located in South Italy. This topic is important for prelims because evolution of the human beings is linked to the evolution of other mammals like monkeys, chimpanzees and which which animal is closely related to the human evolution so prepare well on this topic and thank you for watching this video on current affairs section and inform your friends about our website and to get answer for all these questions in 250 words visit our website and join our mains 2015 course thank you